Okay, joining us now is Will Harvey. Uh, Will created Music Instruction Set, a hot piece of software being offered by Electronic Arts right now. And John Chowning. John is director of Stanford's Center for Computer Research in Music and Acoustics. Did I get that right? Right. Karma, we call it. Karma. Gary. You know, I was just, just going to mention, I think without Cassie telling I finally found an instrument that I can play. <laughs> <laughs> I think we have some more here. Right. Uh, John, I think it would be worthwhile just to talk for a minute about the... Uh, the state of the of computer generated music. Where are we at today? Well, uh, it's I guess nearly 20 years old. When since Bell Labs uh, engineers and scientists first uh, conceived the idea, and uh, what's happened in in the recent years, which uh, is evident in things like personal computers, and that is large scale integration. And what that means specifically, as far as as computer music is concerned, is that uh, we're getting more and more power in smaller and smaller, smaller and smaller units. Which means that what was in, once in the lab now can be put in concert hall or into small, in smaller environments. Mm -hmm. Some works. some purists, John, and maybe Will, you could talk from your end on this too. Uh, think that computers and music are somehow wrong and somehow depersonalizing uh, composition and creativity. What, what role, really, does the computer play in computer music, John? Well, a computer, of course, being based upon uh, uh, programming languages, is really an access, I think, to, to a mode of thought or a body of thought that really represents, I guess, tens of thousands of man years of thought about thought. And uh, I think that's the significant difference between computers and music and uh, electronic musical instruments of the uh, preceding years. That is, uh, as soon as a computer... Uh, computer language is involved, there, one has access to a degree of power and, and uh, generality, which uh, was certainly not the case in ordinary uh, electronic musical instruments. I mean, look what Will's, uh, Will's done here with uh, a personal computer and a programming language and uh, a considerable amount of imagination. So it, it really doesn't depersonalize music, I think, but rather maybe uh, humaniz humanizes uh, computers, I guess. I would Does it, do you think it helps with the composition process of this compo composing music to oh, be of able course. to have it interactive? Sure. Nation? I think uh, a programming language is such an enormously rich resource that uh, it must, at, at, at any level, enhance the uh, compositional pro uh, process. Well, you, you guys are different ends a bit. John is working at Stanford with a big mini and a complex uh, operation, and you're selling a $40 software. Uh, from your end, how do you see computers and music meshing? I mean, how did you get involved in this combination? Well, I think computers are, are a way that people can be introduced to music. And with this program, what we tried to do is allow a person who doesn't know anything about music and who might be intimidated even by it um, to go out and, and to fool around with music already, already created or, or to create his own and... Uh, be able to do everything just, just with a joystick. Maybe you can show us a little bit of, about how a music instruction set works. Okay. Well, basically, you're moving around with the joystick a little hand. And that hand represents your hand. So in order to create music, what you do is you move your hand around and you pick up notes and you set them on the staff, which you see there. After you get the notes set up on the staff, you can move to one of these little pictures here. And the pictures do things. Uh, for instance, if you want to play the music, you go to the little piano, which is there. Or if you want to uh, go to the home position, which is at the beginning of the song, you go to the little home and press the button. I've got a piece here that is included with the product, and so I'll move the hand down to the piano and press the button, it'll play through the piece. <laughs> going to the home, we can go and back well, to the beginning of the song. The, the notes going across the staff or showing us the music that the computer's right. playing at the time. Right. Basically, it's uh, tying together what it sounds like and what is on the screen. So it's like having uh, sheet music in front of you that, that scrolls right past your desk. Uh, whereas with the sheet music, you can pick up your pencil and eraser and erase notes and change them or move them around or even pull out the scissors and cut and paste in different areas. With this, you can move your hand around, pick up a note, move it somewhere else, and drop it. If you want to sharpen a note, you'd just and pick up... And what you did is, is press the button to hear what the note on that particular place sounds like. Right. Actually, I dropped the note, and 
which actually changed the music that's in there right now. So if I played this, it wouldn't sound very pretty. Uh, it also tells me what that note sounds like. Um, so if I were composing music, for instance, or just wanted to know where it was, I could tune my ear. It certainly makes uh, learning about music a lot more fun. <laughs> a lot of fun. You can start it's out, instead of having to learn to play an instrument, um, you have to learn to use a joystick, mm -hmm. which isn't all that difficult. But you can start out by taking uh, Mozart or Bach and then fooling around with it and changing notes and seeing what, seeing what it sounds like. What's your experience with people that are first uh, playing around with this? Do, do, they, uh, do they like to learn about music because of this uh, interaction? The first, the first thing whenever, um, whenever they see a new computer program is, is to be overly cautious. So they'll move around the hand and be very careful not to move a note too far, this and that. But it doesn't take too long, maybe five or ten minutes, before they realize, hey, this is fun. I'm not going to kill myself if I do something wrong. Well, you said this program is for people who don't know too much about music, but you said you've got to take a note and place it on the staff, and a person who doesn't know much about music doesn't really know how to do that, does he? Well, um, as far as moving a note around, the instruction manual tells you what the staff is and, and some of the basic music um, notations. Um, you are required to be able to move around notes, move around the hand, pick up and drop notes, but you don't have to know if this is an A or a B or or a C sharp or what. For instance, I can point to this position here. I'm pointing to that note, and I can say, well, what am I pointing to right now? And press P. And it plays the note. It says, I'm on D. And it also says down here, you're sitting on note D. So it correlates the position on the staff of a note, the sound of the note, and the letter name of the note, which is a novel idea. Mm -hmm. John, uh, <clears throat> briefly, how would that compare with the kinds of things you're doing at Stanford? Well, uh, let's see. Uh, we assume, for example, in our environment that uh, these abstract symbols notation have already been learned. Uh, I mean, our activity is really centered around uh, musicians who have studied for some considerable time, and uh, engineers and psychoacousticians, for example. Uh, and our interest in, in notation is maybe at a slightly different level, ha having to do rather with... Uh, uh, music manuscripting, and uh, perhaps later we can talk a bit about that. But I th find this very uh, interesting because it's a, as Will has pointed out, it's a it's a very accessible medium, and through which one can learn a rather abstract and uh, difficult uh, uh, sort of language, if you will. I mean, music notation. I think that's good. That okay. In, 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 in just a moment, we're going to take a look at a reasonably sophisticated device which you can plug into your computer, the Alpha Centauri system, and that's coming up next. Thank you.